Google Drive, Working with Google Forms. This video features instructions for using Google Forms to create an online quiz. Google Forms is a productivity application available in Google Docs and Google Drive. For this assignment, you will use your AU Gmail and Google Drive accounts. Log in to your AU Gmail account. Access to Gmail is available from any Ashland University web page. Choose the Login button and select Gmail from the drop-down menu. Enter your name and password information to proceed. With successful login to your Ashland University account, the AU logo will appear and you will be able to view the menu bar across the top of your Gmail account. Note that mail is highlighted because you've logged in to your Gmail account. Select Drive to continue. A quick introduction, Meet Your Drive, is available for review. Note also that you can explore the left-hand navigation, create Google Docs, and more. We're going to begin with the left-hand navigation area. Select Create and choose Form. Enter a title for your form quiz. And take time to scroll through the available themes for your project. Be sure to select a title and theme that are appropriate for your project. Take time to consider the topic, grade level, and readability. Once you've made your decision, click to highlight it, and then select OK. Your theme is detailed in the menu bar. If you want to change it, all you need to do is click Theme. The options will apply, change your mind, click OK, and continue. Before moving forward with creating your form's quiz content, it's important to manage your form settings. Your AU account includes options for viewing projects, and you will need to make your quiz open for public viewing. Remove the check mark from Require Ashland University Login to view this form. You'll be prompted to move forward. Select OK. Your form is now available without login to anybody who has the URL. Select Form Settings to close the menu. Take note that as you are working with your project, every change you make is automatically saved. The last edit for this form was just seconds ago. Your form title has been saved, and it is also the name of your project. If you're not satisfied with the original title, you may edit it by clicking on the element and updating the information. Next, add your quiz's introductory narrative to the form. Click on Form Description and paste in your content. Note that the size of the form description box will adjust to the amount of text you enter into the field. The first two questions on your quiz will be text questions allowing students to submit their first and last name. The question title will be first name. A help te text option is available to provide a clue for help for the question. Next, adjust your question type to text. Select Required Question and click Done. Your finished question will display as it will appear in your finished form. Next, you will create a text question for student last name. Add item and text. For question title, you'll insert last name. Include the desired help text. Require the question and select Done. At this point, you will begin developing your quiz. Be sure to review the assignment rubric for specifics regarding number and type of questions to include. You are required to have a total of 10 questions, including student first and last name. The types of questions will depend on the data you want to retrieve from your student. To add questions, choose Add Item, 
and review the options for basic and advanced question types. You can choose text, paragraph text, multiple choice, check boxes, or choose from a list. If you want to use the advanced options, you can create a scale or grid. Advanced layout opportunities are also available, including section header, page break, image, and video. These options may be useful when creating evaluations for music or art or developing a more interactive quiz. To enter a checkbox question, add item and select checkboxes. As with the text question, enter your question title, any desired help text, and your answer options. When you're finished, select Required Action and Done. As you're working with your questions, notice that each layout opportunity available within the box includes editing, duplicating questions, and deleting questions. You also have the opportunity to organize questions in different order within your quiz by dropping and dragging. After entering your last question, Take time to review the confirmation page information. It is possible to edit the text students will see after completing the quiz. I recommend that you keep the check mark in the box that shows the link to submit another response. Take time to view your form live. Preview how it will look to your students. Select View Live Form from the menu. Next, verify your form is accepting responses. And finally, the last thing you need to do is choose a response destination for the data you will collect. Click Choose Response Destination, accept the prompt for a new spreadsheet, and notice that it will automatically name it the same thing as your form. Select Create. Notice that when you're finished, view responses will display. The spreadsheet has been set up with a column for every answer that is submitted on your form. You will also be able to see a timestamp knowing when your students completed the form. This is the spreadsheet that you will be using in conjunction with the Fluberu script to set up your form quiz as a self-grading project. Be sure to review and finalize your quiz questions prior to installing Flutter.